Kid Cudi reveals he had a stroke while in rehab in 2016, everything was fucked. Kid Cudi has revealed that he suffered a stroke while he was in rehab for depression and drug addiction in 2016. Almost six years ago, the musician and actor, real name Scott Miscuti, confirmed in a post on social media that he'd entered a rehabilitation center after experiencing depression and suicidal urges. He said at the time that he felt ashamed about his struggles, but promised to be back, stronger, better. During a new interview with Esquire, Cuddy explained that he had a stroke two weeks into the program, which affected his speech and movement. His manager and childhood friend, Dennis Cummings, advised that he needed to take a break from music. Everything was fucked, Miss Cootie told the publication. The star spent the following few months in physical rehab before turning a corner in 2017, when he felt well enough to audition for a Broadway play, Lobby Hero, with Michael Sarah. Cuddy was required to memorize a significant amount of dialogue, and the role ultimately went to another actor. However, Miss Cootie said that the experience was a positive one overall. I proved to myself that I could do it. I needed that at the time, he recalled. Dot, I proved to myself that I could do it. I needed that at the time. The star opened up about his mental health in 2018, saying that for a long time, I wasn't happy when I woke up in the morning. Cuddy's seventh and most recent studio album, Man on the Moon 3, The Chosen, came out in December 2020. Several tracks, including album opener Tequila Shots, address his internal struggles. Miss Cootie's new animated Netflix series, Enter Galactic, is due to premiere on September 30th along with an accompanying album. In 2020, Cuddy starred in the third season of Westworld, and last year joined Ariana Grande in the cast of Adam McKay's Oscar-nominated Netflix film Don't Look Up. The pair also released a duet for the project called Just Look Up. The rapper this year appeared in A24's new horror film X which led to him landing a role in Brittany Snow's forthcoming feature-length directorial debut, September 17. Cuddy announced this March that he'd signed on to make his directorial debut with another Netflix title, Teddy, in which he'll also star. Last November saw the release of a new documentary based on Cuddy's life and career, A Man Named Scott. Elsewhere in his recent conversation with Esquire, Kid Cuddy said that he's done with Kanye West after the pair who were previously close friends and collaborators, fell out again earlier this year.